The next uh, startup is uh, uh, Hisahiko Saro from Precision. Hello. Ha. Huh. Okay, this is next, right? Mm -hmm. Hello, yes. Hello, mm -hmm. this is that. So hello, my name is Dr. Sato, coming from Japan today. And uh, I'm the, the founder of the CEO called, company called Precision. And I like to help doctors about medical errors with AI and search engine. Um, actually, there is a call, the information overload in medicine, and 10,000 over disease, 10,000 over uh, drugs, and 60,000 clinical trials published each year. So we have a difficulty in digesting those information clinically. And actually, as like a doctors, we do use a Google to seek medical advice. And I don't think it, this is a happy thing for the, the patients. And this is not going to the information problem. So this is 250,000 unnecessary deaths coming from the medical errors. And the cost of my practice is 40 billion, 50 billion dollars in the US. So we want a uh, solution this. And we have starting three years ago, the company and granted $5 million and raised $0.8 million in U Japan. And we have created 11 members and we have 2,000 MDs outside to helping us to create the contents. So our solution is actually AI with a guide MD to patient specific clinical information and 2,000 medical doctors update and create 10,000 pages of contents annually. And we launched a success in Japan last month, and we have contract with three university hospital, one national centers. AI do scan data, optimize question, create search term, and suggest filters, and guide to the clinical contents. So you, in the past, it's a, it's a pocketbook, is a PDF, and so on how to use. But we're going to update those to the, the smart search engine with dynamic update. So, and we have uh, the, the contributor from prestigious hospitals in Japan. And we have uh, smart filters, which is a guide to the clinical specific contents. We also have a case report from the 50,000 anomatized difficult to diagnose their cases, and we have 8,000 disease, uh, uh, disease contents. We create the knowledge graph search engine, which we have a patent. And this is how it's shown. So we, we type in the cell symptom here. We can see the, the, the differential diagnosis listed here. And we can see the cases report. So if I click these contents, we can see how the patient go with the clinical cases. So our members, I used to work in the Elsevier's, and I, and also we have another MDs, and we have uh, the sales officer from the Water Cruise, and also ex CEO, uh, external director from Unicro or AI advisor who is external director of the SoftBank now. And our business model is the subscription models of uh, 5,000 annuaries, and we want to sell this product to the EHO vendor since they have. Uh, less capability to create the contents for the clinical workflows. And projection-wise is I focus on to the one specialties, and especially in the cardiovasculars, and I expand to the whole specialty in 10 years. So we do have clinical additional support platform with content technology merge. And we organize, uh, uh, we are seeking the organization with partnering to create the contents for with the Japanese grant and uh, we wish to publish one pocket mars or clinical case will be welcomed and uh, so thank you very much very interesting uh, what it, will it take how much money and how much time to really build this out so we spent three years and we spent three million dollars to create content or an also network so far in Japan. And I think it's the same cost is needed into the US or any other countries. Um, I, I really like this. This is absolutely brilliant. The only problem I see is why do you sell it via the EHR vendors? Why don't you just simply request the EHR vendors to purchase it? 
because this is just hand-to-hand -hand combat, $5,000 per license per hospital. It's just ugly. It's a giant hill to climb. Why don't you just say, you know, $500,000 for one EH vendor to distribute it in their system like Geisinger Health? So, so far, my consideration is actually the content is the king. So I want to penetrate first. And I don't want to compete with the EHO vendors. Therefore, I want to with the partner with them to assist to increase their uh, the value to the, uh, the doctors or patients. So our, my primary goal is to you know, improve the healthcare problem. So you know, the, the method is not that important. So I like to you know, you know, have a better partnership with the EHO vendors. So I don't want to be the compet competitor of the EHO vendors. So Any other question from audience? Hi, um, I have a question regarding your knowledge graph. Um, what's your precision and recall uh, for any of your cardiovascular, you know, uh, report which is typed by any any random physician, let's say? Um, so knowledge graph is actually quite handmade, like you know, uh, I I put it. Uh, it's kind of it's showing it's like a disease and a symptom is kind of rank like this. So if you see the, the clinical scenario, we create the disease link and the symptom link related to this and make it searchable with the query expansion or, or search algorithms. But do you have a manual verification for your knowledge graph to actually understand the precision and recall? We, we do. We, we employ the doctor to create the con these knowledge graph. Got it. Thank you. Uh, actually, I try to use AI first and use NLP. But like it's it's like eighty percent preciseness, so you know I don't want to make an error. So that's the reason that we debut all this with the, the, the all the doctors. Thank you so much. <laughs>